Good morning and welcome to the National Portrait Gallery and our launch of Living Memory, the National Photographic Portrait Prize for 2021. Thanks for joining us. My name is Tara, I work here at the Portrait Gallery and I'll be your somewhat nervous host for this very special event today. Please be kind. I'd like to extend a really warm welcome from a super cold Canberra morning. It was minus four here this morning when I was scraping the ice off my car to come to work. So we'd like to extend a warm welcome to everyone joining us from all around Australia. We'd particularly like to welcome those of you who are joining us currently in lockdown. You're in our thoughts and we really can't wait when it's safe to welcome your smiling faces back to the gallery again. Soon, please. Um, also, a really extra special welcome to all of the amazing finalists for the National Photographic Portrait Prize. I know you're all nervously awaiting this announcement. I've been nervous all week too. Um, I've been living on a steady diet of jelly snakes and coffee, uh, much to the annoyance of my co-workers, it's been a little hypo. So you're just in our thoughts and we know you're super nervous and we just can't wait for you all to enjoy the show that we've all put together. The National Poetry Gallery here in Canberra stands on Ngunnawal and Ngambri land and I'd like to pay my respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. I'd also like to extend the same respects to the traditional owners from all the lands on which you join us from today. It is with great sadness that the Poetry Gallery would like to acknowledge the passing of a significant Indigenous artist and activist whose stunning portrait by photographer Michal Sarkis is in the Living Memory Exhibition. Out of respect for the family and the community of this artist, the subject shall remain unnamed and the portrait will remain covered until such as a time it can be unveiled. We thank you for your understanding. So the National Photographic Portrait Prize, it can be quite a mouthful, so here we call it NPPP, because if you say National Photographic Portrait Prize 28 times in a meeting, you run out of air really quickly. So NPPP to us, uh, it's a beloved part of the whole National Portrait Gallery culture. It's now in its 14th year, can you believe it? And we know it's beloved in the Australian arts community as well. It's always managed to convey a really uniquely Australian experience of the year that was um, and a really contemporary view of Australian faces. So the planning for this year's NPPP 2021 took place at a really uncertain time. The Portrait Gallery along with the rest of Australia was in lockdown and we were ro uh, working remotely but we really felt more than ever we had to deliver this prize as a way of everyone to express through their arts what we'd all been collectively going through. Um, at such a time of uncertainty, and for us witnessing our communities, and particularly our photographic and artist communities, loss of connection and their very livelihoods, we knew we had to do something really special to give back and so the concept of this year's exhibition, Living Memory, was born. We aim to make it bigger than ever before. We wanted to support more artists than any previous exhibition, and we wanted to give back to the creative community. And we've been able to do so, thanks to the generous support of our amazing sponsors, and also a new series of mentorships and more awards than ever. So for us, it was a really big ask and we took the ball by the horns and I really think we've delivered. So this year, the prize has double the amount of artworks in it. So double, we've got 79 artworks hanging on our walls. We rolled out an artist support fee for all of the finalists who are going through hardship to enable them to deliver beautiful artworks to the gallery. We doubled the exhibition space. I can't wait for everyone to see it. It's literally across three full galleries here at the National Portrait Gallery. It's a quiet takeover. It's literally taking up half of the gallery and it's so important. It's, it's given the ground it deserves, I really think so. 
We've also made the exhibition run for longer than ever because we want as many people to be able to visit us, hopefully in person, fingers crossed, but also to enjoy it online. So we sort of nervously sent out our call for entries. We knew we were changing something that was already beloved in the arts community. I was kind of like, eh, it's a bit like adding chalk chips to a hot cross bun. <laughs> we were nervous, should we change it or should we leave it the same? So our call for entries went out and photographers around Australia answered. We were, yeah, we just feel so blessed. Thousands of you submitted incredible portraits. And I just, I really want to take a moment um, to sincerely thank every single entrant that enters our prizes. Like for entrusting us, we know it's not just entrusting us with your photographs. You're entrusting us with your personal stories, your community stories, your families, your family and friends' faces, and your lived experience. We know you're basically sharing a window into your worlds and we see you and we really thank you for that and, and entrusting us with that. To me, it takes a certain vulnerability to enter a prize and to have your work be judged. It's hard um, and I just want all the entrants to know that every single photograph is looked at every single photograph, thousands of them are looked at by all three of the judges individually and again in person. I think it's just really important for everyone to know that we do look at all of the works and we value everyone being so on board with the prize. So as you can imagine, this year, the task for our three amazing judges was particularly tough. Our judges, as you know, were our director here at NPG, Karen Quinlan, the director of the National Gallery of, S of Australia, Nick Mitsovich, and the amazing photographer, Bill Henson. And I just wanted to take a little second, because I worked alongside these judges all the way, to thank them, because they use so much, I just want to thank them for their consideration and their invested care. They really cared of the selection of all the finalists and the winners. There are so many worthy entrants and we thank you all. And so here we go again. Uh, we're on another Zoom experience in a gallery. And I know it can never be quite the same. We know it can never be quite the same as visiting an exhibition in the flesh. Uh, so our team are working hard on bringing you the exhibition which you'll be able to enjoy online. But for now, we're ready to cross live to our director for the announcement. Good luck, everybody, we're thinking of you. So we're just gonna cruise over here for the announcement. Good morning, and thank you for joining us online and in person for this very special occasion, the announcement of the winner of Living Memory, the National Photographic Portrait Prize 2021. My name is Karen Quinlan and I'm the director of the National Portrait Gallery of Australia. I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians on the, of the land and throughout Australia and recognise the continuing connection to country. I pay my respect to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander cultures and to elders past, present and emerging. As well as being the director of the National Portrait Gallery, I also have the great pleasure of being a judge for this year's prize. As has been said, it's the 14th year of the prize, and for every year, the National Photographic Portrait Prize provides a rich tableau of humanity, a reflection of the year that was. After the harrowing bushfires of the summer of 1920, closely followed by the COVID-19 pandemic, it felt imperative that in 2021, we acknowledge the seismic events of this period. Accordingly, we titled this year's prize, Living Memory, a way to look back, consider and reflect upon these challenging times. We anticipated that the photographers would respond well to this theme because of their exposure to some of the most extraordinary moments that either they or people they know have experienced. Today, we launch an exhibition of portraiture that captures everything 
from the catastrophe of drought, bushfire, to the intimate moments of lockdown. As a result, themes of isolation and solitude permeate the images. But the bright celebration of identity, both collective and individual, that resonates throughout every year of the NPPP is highly visible within this unique collection of works. I would like to acknowledge the staff of the NPG, specifically Tara James and the curatorial team, for overseeing what I believe is the delivery of an outstanding exhibition and a superb hang, and our small and highly professional production team for enabling you to tune in today to this announcement. I would like to thank our gallery partners and supporters, our principal partner EY and our cultural partner Midnight Hotel Autograph Collections. I would like particularly to thank the NPPP exhibition partners who ensure the prize continues to attract excep exceptional photographers. This year, the photograph judged most outstanding will receive $30,000 in cash as well as $20,000 worth of equipment. This package is supported by Canon, so we're very, very grateful. The award, the highly awarded, the highly commended, will receive a collar edge professional monitor from ISO valued at $4,000. We thank IAS Fine Art Logistics for their ongoing support of the Art Handlers Award. The winner to be revealed in the coming weeks will receive $2,000. The David Roche Foundation has generously contributed $5,000 in cash for the winner of the People's Choice Award, which will be announced towards the end of the exhibition. And I encourage you all to visit our website to vote for your favourite work. I would like to thank my fellow judges, Nick Mitsevich, Director of the National Gallery of Australia, who is here today, and renowned photographer Bill Henson, who isn't here, who's hopefully zooming in. The three of us faced a mammoth task sorting through over 3,000 entries with many robust discussions to arrive at this final shortlist. Importantly, I want to thank all of the entrants to this year's prize and particularly want to congratulate the 79 finalists. Of course, we are truly disappointed that we cannot celebrate with an opening event. However, we hope that you will be able to visit us before too long as the prize runs through to the 7th of November. Now to the announcement of our prizes. In acknowledgement of the impact the pandemic has had on the creative community this year, we provided each finalist with a supporting payment to help cover the cost of transport and framing. We have also planned uh, for some professional development opportunities for two lucky finalists, including workshops and specifically selected mentoring relationships. It is with this in mind that the judges have selected two, the two artists to be given distinction awards. These awards are specifically tailored mentorship prizes designed to continue the Portrait Gallery's commitment to nurturing Australian portrait photography. I am pleased to announce that the distinction awards go to RJ Poole for his portrait, Great Conjunction, and Jessica Romas for her portrait, Mark and Saskia Kuloff. Congratulations to you both. This year, the judges have awarded highly commended to Julian Kingma for his portrait, Tom at the Drain. So congratulations, Julian. Julian is a Victorian-based photographer who has created a portrait of Tom taking time away from his computer screen during lockdown. In the words of the artist, isolation sent children into a new territory, what to do with themselves, how to negotiate their four walls, sometimes battling anxiety, how to find playfulness and resisting constant screen time. While the world retreated, Tom was reminding me that happiness always exists within the simplest things. This work spoke to the judges in many ways and on many levels. The darkness, the uncertainty and the anxiety that we may all face at different times, but also that sense of hope and the human spirit the mystery and our questioning is enhanced by the haunting nature of the composition. There is something strange and introspective going on as the child clings to the drain pipe and yet through the darkness and the strange distance with that slightly disturbing placement of the horizon, we experience the beauty of this photograph. So well done, Julian. 
And the winner of Living Memory, the National Photographic Portrait Prize for 2021, is New South Wales-based artist Joel Prattley for his striking photograph, Drought Story, a portrait of David Kalich, a farmer captured in the midst of an unexpected dust storm on his farm in Forbes, New South Wales. To accompany the work, the artist's statement says simply, sometimes you think, why am I here? And Joel is joining us via Zoom. Congratulations. There you are. <laughs> Where are you and how do you feel as the winner for this year's N Triple P? I'm streaming from uh, Redfern and um, I, I, just, I just feel really, uh, really overwhelmed. Like, uh, my feet haven't touched the ground. <laughs> it's, um, uh, it's just uh, such an amazing competition to be a part of. To actually be a finalist in itself is a huge win. So um, I'd like to uh, first thank uh, the MPG, um, what they do for the photographic community and the public. I'd like to thank the judges as well, Karen, Nick and Bill. Definitely thank all the entrants and especially the other finalists during this lockdown. Um, yeah, I didn't think I would personally win this. <laughs> However, I really do believe in this image and I'm glad that other people do as well. Um, what brought us out to Forbes originally uh, was a job, the goal of which was to show how tough farmers were doing it and how you could donate to help. Uh, I was a very small piece of that puzzle who happened to get this photo, which is the right place and right time. Uh, I would like to offer a real special thanks to um, Campbell Brown, who was the director of photography on that, and also uh, Kyra Bartley, who was a uh, director as well, who was involved. Um, I don't think I would have been able to get this photo if we weren't there as a team. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, other members of the team who made this project possible. Of course, the uh, people from Rural Aid, um, Basir Seler and Doug Chandler at BMF, um, Dong, Britt and Sarah at BPay, and um, Selena down at Sun Studios who brought this image to life and did an amazing print job. Um, of course, there's the Kalishes who I need to thank from the bottom of my heart who gave us their time on their farm during this really tough, tough time that they were going through and also the other farmers that were involved in the project that we visited as well, um, such as Rhonda, Tony and Mark. Um, again, I'd like to just say that I am so grateful and um, thank you all so much for your time and thanks to everyone for being um, a part of this and making it so special for everyone who gets to be involved in the National Portrait Prize. Fantastic. Thank you, Joel. Look, the judges felt that this work was captivating you can actually see the horizon run back, the shadows of the clouds and the detritus caused by the storm. And there is this ethereal light coming through that picks up on the smokiness of it all, offering some hope for the clearance. It's an arresting picture as we see the person completely surrounded and immersed by a power greater than himself. We all concluded that this was an extraordinarily powerful image. So again, thank you for zooming in today and thank you so much for your contribution to make this prize so spectacular uh, and well done. Well done and well done in terms of getting this far in your career and good luck in terms of the future. Thank you and thanks to everyone that was involved in both the prize and, uh, and, and this story. Thank you very much. Fantastic. That concludes our announcement. Thank you for joining us here today and to those of you who have tuned in online, our very best wishes to you all. Stay safe and well and we look forward to seeing you here in person very soon. Thanks. Well, congratulations to all of the finalists in this year's Living Memory National Photographic Portrait Prize, or as you now know it, and Triple P, and especially to all of our winners. Now it's over to you and the public to vote for your favourite in the People's Choice Award. You can jump on our website, portrait.gov.au, and explore the exhibition in full, read through all of the artist labels, and tell us which one is your personal favourite and why. Please don't forget to share this with your family and friends and share on social media because the more exposure we get for our worthy photographers, the better. Also keep an eye out on our social media channels for the announcement of our ever popular Art Handlers Award, which will be revealed in the next week or so. The Art Handlers are vaults of secrecy and I've been trying to prize this secret out of them for a week to no avail. So we'll be finding out at the same time as you. And finally, please join us online tomorrow. That's Saturday, the 31st of July for our fabulous panel discussion that explores the theme of the Living Memory Exhibition. 
So leading the panel is our very own NPG, Sandra Bruce, who's Director of Exhibitions and Collections, renowned photojournalist and also former finalist, Mike Bowers, and CEO of Mental Health Commission, Christine Morgan. They're going to be bringing to you a very valuable discussion with insights into the Living Memory Exhibition and its themes, the year that we've all lived through and its effect on the Australian people and psyche. I'm gonna come in, tomorrow's my day off and I'm coming in to watch the panel. That's how excited I am about it. Uh, so as always, all of our virtual programs are available on our website at portrait.gov.au or on our social media channels, the little at portrait.au. So we know we couldn't be here in person. We've got a little virtual fly through for you and working really hard on creating you an amazing virtual experience through the gallery. So until we see you again, hopefully your smiling faces in person, Please stay safe, stay connected, keep looking at more art, and we can't wait to welcome you back here at MPG. Enjoy the little fly through, guys. Mm -hmm.